Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it, Juicy? 6.52 in the evening. Um, I just got, I got up for work early. Today is one of my shorter days. I came home, ate, did my rest of my work, and I started watching um, some like ghost hunting stuff. Um, should have had dinner done by now, but I think I'm going to go clean up the kitchen and wash dishes and take you guys along with me because it's just really boring and I miss you guys. I miss putting out videos, but with all this quarantine stuff going on, we're not really doing much. So well, let's go hang out. If you guys are interested, please keep watching. <laughs> Basically what I've been doing since I don't have, look at that, fucking peanut butter. <laughs> since I don't have anything else to do, I've been cleaning, which is not something I usually like to do because I'm not a cleaner. I clean because I have to, not because I want to. Let's put it like that. So let me finish up these dishes and then we'll get to the potatoes. And no, I don't go. All my sisters can cut potatoes like that. Not me. I just never practice. Practice. Practice makes perfect, but I cut this one a little too quick. So I'm not really like particular. I know like some natives are really particular. Like for instance, Apache women, and I know there's gonna be so many Navajo women out there being like, damn, she cuts potatoes like a white person. I really don't care because as long as it gets cooked and you're getting fed, that's all that matters. Um, but it's funny too because uh, where I'm from, Everybody cuts potatoes, you know, like that. And um, when I dated this Navajo guy and I went up north to like go see his family and stuff, um, they were all using a, um, like a uh, cheese shredder and they were shredding the potatoes and I have never seen that. And I was just so fascinated by how another tribe cuts their potatoes because our, our women are strictly knives, but again, they're all pro. They cut it in four and then they go like my sister, she can knock them out, but nope, I'm not like that. So, I'm gonna finish cutting these potatoes up and then 
we'll get started on the food. So I thought out the meat in the microwave. I'll make mine into really small, small uh, chunks, I guess. Gotta have onions. Do some pepper, some salt. For you non-natives, us natives, well, most natives that I know really like to um, make sure their meats are well done. That's how I am. I don't like to see any pink at all. So I'm going to rinse my potatoes and then we'll add those once this is done. If her shirt don't look like this after washing dishes, she's not the one. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? <laughs> Add in my potatoes. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. Most of the time you don't need the oil because the hamburger already has oil, but All this is clean, so chill out. I love green beans of any kind, but we need to get the can because it's cheaper. And we usually toss it in a pan, not a pan, but a, what do you call it? A thinger and warm it up and throw some butter in there. But I'm lazy as hell today gonna drain these out and pour it on there. Shh, don't say nothing. This is a native res food and it is done. And in my home we use paper plates because Ain't nobody gonna wash dishes but me. You know what I mean? I have three kids and one. There's five of us. So, they can eat. Especially my boys. Voila. Honey, bell juice, get in here and eat. That's how I like mine. Like that. Oh my God. Hey, We're all eating now. And I'll probably stay up late tonight. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.